um, because it's, it's overblowing a little bit, you may have these little tools that, that are that are um, sort of creating a, a certain kind of patina. Um, uh, that that we saw that, that we see in really old um, pipes uh, in you know, ancient pipes, and we kind of tried to figure out why, why do they sound so different. So, so you now have to blow in much more to get that higher to get that uh, overblowing. So, so here, let's see what this is. Gives me um, frequencies, you know, exact. You can calibrate. This is my calibration um, uh, note because it's not always the same temperature, and temperature is very important for tuning oh, yeah. because you know sound travels at different speeds at different temperatures. So that means uh, when it warms up, the pitch goes up. When it cools down, it goes down. And well, since it's not always the same, I want to make sure all the pipes that I voice for one organ are all the same pitch. So I'm, always, keep that I'm, there, yeah. I'm always referring to that. So now I can determine what pipe, what note that is. So it's between an E and D sharp. to tune it to an E because um, D sharp it would be too short. So I'm just going to cut until things get into tune. So how do you tune a pipe that's closed on top? Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. How do you tune a pipe that's closed oh, on top? Uh, then it has uh, ears at the mouth, mm. so we we can we solder around the cap. Right. And then the ears. Uh, I'll show you a pipe like like these over there, for example. Oh, okay. They are. Uh, I think they're kind of nice over here. So you can put it on the chest, and then you can see how that works. So once, uh, so now it's on with tape at the church or at the destination. I will tune it exactly with all the shading because there are other pipes around, which I don't have the configuration right here. So um, um, and then when it's all exactly right and they're about straight out the ears, and then I solder it on, and then the rest, the tiny tiny amounts that will be left over, will be tuned by just by moving the ear just a little bit like that. Mm. A little bit long. Tedious cutting, a little bit at a time, because if you do too much, it's problematic. So now, when it's like this, a little, little bit of sharp, it needs to go lower, and that's when I use this. This is an E, so it's a third, you know. So it's somewhat mixed, an interval, you know. Can I open the building? The building needs to be boxy, how they have to curve it out. Oh, curve it, yeah, yeah. 
you want to say, how does that change this? Yeah, because you shave your, um, if you were singing and, and you had your sound, uh, you wouldn't change anything? When they put your hand there, oh, it'll, okay. it'll change. Just a little bit, yeah. yeah. yeah so. <laughs> in tune with the pie. That's how we tune. That's how we tune. We tune mostly. We have one stop at some point that, that we know stays in tune really extremely well. And then we use that stop to tune other pipes to that, to those pipes. And then, um, so these are the flu pipes, you know, they're just like whistles or recorders. But then we also make reed pipes. And I happen to have one here. So many more parts to this. There is a, um, this brass piece is maybe comparable to a, a clarinet mouthpiece, for example. It has, you know, it has a, a reed here that's just a little bit, yeah. see, that, that has a slight curve. So when the air comes in here and this is closed, it will flow through here and create a suction and close this. And as soon as it closes, there's equal pressure on both sides, and then the springiness of the tongue, the reed, will open it up again and, and create a sequence uh, according to this length, the vibrating length. And then this is uh, used for tuning. And this is the resonator. It's kind of like an amplifier, basically. You know, for, because it would make a sound without this, but you have a very sort of snarly kind of sound, you know, not much. So this is an E, so it should coordinate with this part here, and it's tuned. It's going to, it, this is an extra loud one because this is a huge place that this organ goes. So, and of course, one note doesn't give you much of an impression, but when there is a whole set. And, uh, and these, these will be actually, this particular set is called the Spanish trumpet, so it's going to be horizontal. Oh. Uh, like this, so it, it will speak, it will oh, even those get ones, louder. Those ones point <laughs> out at the... Yeah. Yeah, you see them here and there. Yeah. Sort of thing. sound that's very closer to where it really wants to be, so <laughs> the rest with cutting and tuning. So those are the main two main groups of pipes. So of course within the flute pipes we have the open and then these the stopped. And then we have also half stopped with a little chimney. <laughs> and then we have tapered flutes, for example. And we have very narrow ones there for string sounds. So the the construction of the pipe is really not necessarily um, looking like a real instrument, like a real string, you know, obviously it's a pipe. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we are trying to imitate those sounds. And, and the organ has always been kind of there to, Able in to a way to all, imitate yeah. a, whole, a whole ensemble or an orchestra, you know. Uh, because one, one person could play and entertain, you know, a huge crowd of people, you know, with this big instrument. And, uh, so that's, that's a kind of a funny aspect of the whole thing, having so much power on the universe, you know. Yeah. So yeah, so this, well, this pipe, for example, is that kind of thing.
work with, you know. So because I can't really afford to make packs too short, you know, it's a lot of work lengthening them <laughs> on the job. Yeah. So I always try to, or anywhere really, it's always extra work that we don't want to do. It's yeah. enough work as it is. We <laughs> <laughs> don't to make this. Yeah, so maybe, uh, so that's the that pipe making pretty much. Yeah, this pipe, this organ is our largest. That's from from there to the top of the, of the case, from here to there. It's 50 feet tall. Wow. Really Where big. is that? That's in uh, in the Catholic Cathedral in Houston, Texas. Oh wow! And so it's uh, it's very big. See, there are four keyboards here. Uh -huh. These are the keyboards, so you can see how you know, huge the organ really is. Yeah. Yeah. And that one has the five thousand five hundred pipes. Lots of. All the way to Houston. Yeah.